Hey guys. So I've been doing like, you know, a lot of, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about, um, like, you know, the videos, etc. And, um, <clears throat> these rants or comments and so forth. And I've come up with this, um, you know, I was just thinking about how, like, you know, for the last eight, nine years, I've been, um, working on doing these photos and, um, and the thing about them is that they're, they're really beautiful photos. I mean, you know, I mean, some of them, <clears throat> you know, some of them show like, you know, have social criticism or show people are sad, but overall, I just feel like even with, you know, just across the whole scheme of them, that they're all really, um, that they were beautiful and they're innocent and, you know, not entirely innocent, but there's a certain freedom about them that I don't really see most places and I've talked in previous videos and may talk again about why that is but um and it's just so different from these videos you know because um you know when you're doing pictures you, you may be making statements but I'm not you know I'm not criticizing the whole swath of humanity as it were and um you know I sort of you know I, I mean I'm still you know working with that but um it just seems like somehow like you know Somehow, I mean, I recently moved and all, but it's just like that, you know, somehow the, you know, the atmosphere, the vibes or the creative field just seems rife with, with dissonant energy. And it seems hard to imagine doing pictures like I used to do right now, although I'm working on trying to do more of them. And so I don't know if that's true. Maybe I just need to like break out into the field there a little, but you're probably wondering what this all has to do with anything. And that is that, you know, I've said a lot of really critical things. <clears throat> And I stand by them, and I think they need to be said, but I also feel like, like, you know, I was, there was someone the other day that I was, like, interacting with, and, um, you know, every time before when we talked about, like, you know, some of the, you know, shootings or mass shootings that had gone on, they were always like, it's horrible, it's awful, it's terrible, and I happened to overhear them saying to someone else, you know, in regards to this, well, I guess you could just become like the losers and go shoot up people. And, you know, I was thinking about that. I was wondering, you know, he's never said that before. Before it was always like, you know, it was unthinkable. But now apparently somehow or other he's gotten to the conclusion that that's what losers do. You know, when, <clears throat> in other words, he's accepted that the society is an equal. And so when what that means is that when you're a loser in that society, you go and shoot up people. And this has struck me as like, okay, well, I guess the world perspective is more accurate because, um, you know, he's realized that, you know, yes, there there is some, if you're having an unequal society, then you could end up having these things. But now he's made it okay somehow, or he's accepted it by just painting the world in an even worse light. And... You know, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not trying to say that our values are wrong. I'm trying to say that we're not adhering to our values as much as we like to think that we are adhering to them. This is an entirely different statement from just saying that, no, I, I don't think we should have values. I think we need to have values. But, you know, I think that part of having values is continually examining them as our entire world changes around us and we develop technology that we couldn't even imagine 15 years ago. I think it becomes incumbent on us, and in fact it's part of the demands of the modern pace of life, to keep up with these ideas and, and, and really work on trying to understand how they're affecting us rather than just letting the chips fall where they may. I mean, to a degree, I guess we always have to do that in life, but you know, how much effort we put into doing that changes everything. I mean, that's why we have trains and railways and hospitals, <laughs> you know, so. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, I'm trying to prod people to think. I'm trying to pop open the lid and make people look inside. I'm not trying to make it okay for the world to be a horrible place. That's the, you know, if that was true, there'd be no reason for me to be making these rants at all because in many ways the world is a horrible place. I'm trying to make the world a better place. And you may say that my perspectives are right or wrong, but nonetheless, they're my perspectives, and if I don't speak out, then I'm either complicit in the problem or overlooking any possibility that what I have to say may be helpful to the conundrum we're all facing. 
And so without further ado, I also want to introduce, um, I want to introduce Spirit to the show. Um, Spirit has been my lifelong muse. She doesn't have any physical existence that I've ever discerned. And, um, you know, I just want to say that, like, um, since I've given, like, so many radical statements, I want to, like, sort of, you know, she actually asked to be introduced, which I thought was really amazing. And so, um... You know, I have no idea what spirit is. And as you know, I don't have much, um, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of new age mystics. I don't have anything against them and they're, they're better than a lot of people because they, at least they're not just promoting capitalism. But, um, sometimes though, I think they benefit from saying sort of like, you know, happy go lucky things without a lot of, you know, cre- you know, a lot of backup or foundation to them. And so... And so anyway, I want to say that I'm not, I'm not trying to channel anything. <clears throat> I'm not trying to say that this is actually an entity from somewhere else, though it may be. I mean, you can just decide for yourself. But, you know, you could say it's like, you know, a schizophrenic personality, whatever. You could say it's an imaginary friend. But whatever, you know, she's going to hang out. <clears throat> to sort of show that there's like um, a spiritual basis for the show. And, you know, I, I'm not really calling this a show. I guess it's just a series of rants and... You know, this could end at any time for just about any reason, because frankly, folks, you know, sometimes I know when I'm saying controversial things, but just as often, I don't. (laughs) That's what it means when you're really different, something most people don't get, that when you're really different, sometimes you don't even know when you're being different. So, you know, what that means is like, you know, at any time, this could be gone, poof, in which case you can come check out my blog at www.dksmediasolutions.com slash blog. Because there's only one video there, one censored video, and I technically should have another one because they've censored two. But, you know, at some point, maybe um, they'll just censor everything, and then that'll be the next place to look if I'm still alive. Which I assume I will be because Spirit says that nothing's going to happen to me, which, you know, I, I, um, you know, I used to just worry all the time, and she would always say, everything's going to be fine. And I always say, but things aren't fine right now. <laughs> like a little baby and you know she still says that she says oh, things are gonna be fine but she also says this is a time of great turmoil in our world and that's the other thing you see um spirit doesn't speak through me i just report what she says so anyway um and she you know she might speak up at any time but um basically she's just saying that you know you know we're just you know i guess the bet midler line just sit tight we're in for a bumpy ride 